Good evening, everyone. Tonight, New York lawmakers are now just one vote away from legalizing same-sex marriage. President Obama is heading to New York later this week for a fundraising event with members of the gay community. But new questions are being raised about what the president actually believes about gay marriage and whether his public opposition to it is real or just political posturing. Tonight, we're keeping him honest. In 1996, when he was a college professor running for Illinois State Senate from a wealthy liberal Chicago neighborhood, Barack Obama answered a question in a local paper called Outlines. He checked a box next to the sentence, I favor legalizing same-sex marriages and would fight efforts to prohibit such marriages. Well, it seems pretty clear-cut, doesn't it? But once he was actually in office, his position suddenly and inexplicably began to change. In 1998, responding to an Illinois state legislative national political awareness test, here's how he responded to the question, do you believe that the Illinois government should recognize same-sex marriages? His answer, undecided. By 2004, on the verge of his campaign for national office, the United States Senate, Mr. Obama was telling the Windy City Times that he supported civil unions, saying, quote, I think that marriage, in the minds of a lot of voters, has a religious connotation. I know that's true in the African-American community. Then four years later, running for president, appearing at the Saddleback Mega Church in Southern California, talking with Pastor Rick Warren, he said quite clearly he was against same-sex marriage. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. Now, for me as a Christian, for me... For me as a Christian, it's also a sacred union. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, God's in, in the mix. Uh -huh. um, but uh, would you support um, a, uh, a constitutional amendment with that uh, that definition? No, I would not. Why not? And because because historically, because historically we have not defined marriage in our constitution. It's been a matter of state law that has been our tradition. Now, I mean, let's break it down. The, the reason that people think there needs to be a, a constitutional amendment, some people believe, is because uh, of the concern that, uh, of, of, about same-sex marriage. Uh, I am not somebody who promotes same-sex marriage, but I do believe in civil unions. I do believe that we should not, uh, th that for a gay partners to want to visit each other in a hospital, mm -hmm. for the state to say, you know what, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think in any way inhibits my core beliefs about what marriage are. Mm -hmm. uh, I think my faith is strong enough and my marriage is strong enough that I can afford those civil rights to others, even if I have a different perspective or a different view. So that's the chronology. 1996, he supported same-sex marriage and said he would fight for it. Twelve years later, running for president, he opposed it and says he still does, though he now says his position is evolving. Hard to see how the president's position has changed so much. The only thing that has changed is his need for a wider audience to vote for him. Now, in the last several days, the White House seems to have struggled with exactly what to say about the president's flip-flop over the years on gay marriage. At Netroots Nation last week, White House Communications Director Dan Pfeiffer was asked about that 1996 questionnaire. Well, I've got his exact answer right here. I favor legalizing same-sex marriages and would fight efforts to prohibit if such you, marriages. If you actually go back and look, at the, that question... That questionnaire was actually filled out by someone else, not the president. There was a long debate about this. In so the it's campaign. a fake questionnaire. But, so what I will tell you is the president's position has been consistent on this. But what he has said, and well, it was so, well, hold on a minute. You're saying that this is a fake questionnaire. This was litigated in the campaign. There were a number of other issues on well, that. Well, I campaign. don't think it's actually ever been clarified. So I'd like to clarify it now. There are a lot of people here who are concerned about this issue. So the president has never favored same-sex marriage. The president's position on gay marriage, I will say, it, is that he has, he has been against it. But he has said that, his, that the country is evolving on this and he is evolving on it. And I'll tell you, and he has said why he does. This is an answer he gave when some of the folks in this room were in the White House for a meeting with the president. And Joe Sudbay of America Blog asked the president about this. And the president said that, he said, it's clear the country is moving on this. It's evolving and he's evolving. So he seems to be saying the president didn't ever support same-sex marriage, denying the president signed that questionnaire, dodging whether he said what he said in it. Yesterday, a reporter for the Washington Blade asked Press Secretary Jay Carney about that same questionnaire, and as you'll see, the answer, well, I guess you can say it is evolving as well. Can you clarify whether or not the 96 survey was signed by Obama? It's my understanding that it was. What I, I think we clarified on Friday that the, the, uh, 
that, that Dan was uh, referring to another questionnaire. But did the president, in fact, support same-sex marriage in 1996? Why is this again? I, what I know is what his position was during the campaign and what it is now. Uh, I, I, you know, the, he's been very clear about it. He was very clear in the campaign. He's very clear about the fact that his position that he is that it's evolving. And uh, you know, I, I, I really don't have anything to add to it. So it's interesting. He admits the 1996 survey was signed by Barack Obama, but you'll notice he avoids saying if the president believed what he said back then and avoids explaining why the president's apparently changed his position or even why it's now evolving back to what it may have been 12 years ago. I spoke about all of this a few moments ago with Democratic strategist Paul Begala and Cleve Jones, human rights activist, colleague of the late Harvey Milk, and founder of the Names Project AIDS Memorial Quilt. Paul, how is it possible that then, you know, uh, Professor Obama said he's in favor of, of, of same-sex marriage, and now he's had this evolution to where he's now longer, no longer in favor. I mean, it's got to just be politics. Uh, well, probably it is. I, I, don't, I don't like to criticize other people's motives, but at that time, his politics were all about winning a state senate district in a very progressive part of Chicago, which is a progressive city. Uh, then the politics changed. He became a, a, you know, a, a young man on the move, uh, Illinois, a much differ, uh, different place than just his little district, and he came, then came out against it. it. It is just politics. Now, I have to say, on this one, he's kind of behind the American people. He was way ahead of us, frankly, on, on health care, on the auto bailout, on any number of issues. Uh, but on this one, he is a lagging uh, politician. That, that We have a narrow majority of Americans who now support full equality in marriage for all Americans. And, uh, you know, I think the president's a little late to the party, frankly. It, it's interesting, Cleve, because people who are opposed to, uh, to same-sex marriage point to President Obama and say, well, look, President Obama... Uh, you know, doesn't support it as well. Do you believe he actually doesn't support it, or do you think this is just he made a political calculation of, you know what, uh, I'm just going to say I don't support it, even though uh, maybe I really do? Well, I think it's clearly a political calculation, and sadly, I think it's the wrong one. Uh, I think this president needs to re-energize his base. I support the president. I campaigned for him. I anticipate campaigning again, and I, I believe that the, the role that he and his advisors would wish me to play would be to be re-energizing the base and uh, this is not the way to do it he is uh, definitely behind the curve the evolution of the country on this issue is proceeding at a far more, ra more rapid rate uh, than his own so uh, I'm, I'm concerned about it and this th this visit to New York uh, given the situation there right now, I think puts him in a very difficult position. You know, uh, Paul, uh, Democrats, you know, attack conservatives for being hypocritical on issues that they're hypocritical about, but I don't hear a lot of Democrats attacking, you know, their own president uh, for, for hypocrisy. The president is now saying, well, my, my opinion on this is evolving, which is clearly, you know, kind of a hint to people in the gay community, to people who do support same-sex marriage, that maybe he will one day support it. I mean, is he trying to have it both ways? Well, sure, all of us do, and certainly politicians no different from the rest of us. Uh, I don't think it's hypocritical, though, at all. I, I do think there may be some, who knows, I can't peer into his heart. There may be some authentic evolution here, but Cleve makes a good point. He's a little late to this, and there is, I, I know this. But how do you political... evolve from, I support it in 96, to I don't support it, to, oh, you know what, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to support it. I mean, it just that, doesn't logically make sense. He seems to be evolving backwards, well, and <laughs> that is of concern. Sort of devolution, but no, no, but also, look, the politics did change. Uh, but, but here's politics he needs to worry about. Were I advising him, I say, you know, Mr. President, you got 73% of the gay vote when you ran in 2008. Now, that was less than John Kerry got. John Kerry got 77. It's the only real heart of our base where you did less well than John Kerry, at least that I came across. Uh, and so, and by the way, two years later in 2008, the Democrats, in 2010 rather, only got 69%. So we've had an eight point erosion in our performance among gay Americans. We need to do something. Cleve's exactly right. We got to do something to energize this base or, or Republicans will continue to gain with gay Americans, even though I don't think their agenda re reflects uh, the gay community. Does the Democratic Party take gay, gay Americans um, for granted, feeling that, well, look, they're, they're not going to go to the Republican Party? There's great cynicism and enormous frustration with this administration. And of course, as in my case, it's also mixed with a lot of affection and respect. 
but the fact that they would continue to defend don't ask don't tell for as long as they did for the, the fact that he's already stated that in his view the core of the defense of marriage act is unconstitutional well then he should sign on to senator feinstein's bill uh, to repeal it and signal some support there i've been working with courage campaign trying to get more uh, co-sponsors for senator feinstein's legislation the momentum is clear the tide of history is clear uh, his window of opportunity to to uh, stake his claim on the right side of history is diminishing rapidly he needs to move and right now with this opportunity in new york is an extraordinary opportunity he could really move us all forward very decisively i hope he'll hear this and do that paul just politically though this is a president who uh... i mean he's a politician and he weighs things very carefully uh... and and often tries to you know find consensus and and walk a middle ground do you think it's likely that he actually would say he is for uh, you know, for, for marriage equality for, for, for gay Americans before the election? Or is that something he would do after the election when politically the, there wouldn't be a, a price to pay? Oh, I think he's likely to do it. This is not based on any insights. I don't talk to those guys and gals down at the White House. But I, I think he's likely or certain to do it before the election because he's going to have to. People are going to come to him as they came to the White House press corps today and said, we had this position then and now this. So you think he will come out publicly for it? I do. That's my best guess. Now, I, I, one political problem he's got with doing it right now, he should do it right now because of this vote in New York. New York State Senate is one vote away from full marriage yeah. equality. And he's going to be in New York. But here's the problem politically. He's going to be at a fundraiser. From, uh, hosted mostly by the LGBT community. I gotta say, if you go to a fundraiser and then endorse the agenda of the people who are giving you money, that, that looks kind of bad politically as well. I almost, I hate to say it, I know he needs the money. I almost wish we didn't have the fundraiser and could just focus on that vote in the state Senate in New York. Well, it's going to look a lot worse when he goes there to ask these people for money and then has to somehow explain to them that, in his view, they still don't deserve equal protection under the law. So he's in a, in a difficult position. The right thing to do would be to do the right thing. Cleve Jones, uh, great to have you on the program. Paul Begal as well. Thank you. Thanks. Thank oh. you.